Hi everybody, today we have something different. We're going to do a pick a card, but specifically on something you have been manifesting, um, whether this be in the career place um, or in like financially hobbies, whatever this is for you, whatever it is that you've been manifesting um, to you um, in your home. And this is love. So this is relationship, anything relationship, single, um, in connection, out of connection, um, past connection, whatever it is, we're going to um, go into that and then the magic too. So something, this is a, a pick a card of like a major change coming into you that you don't know. Um, something that you have no idea about the magic of something coming into you. So let's get started. Um, we're going to start with manifest, love, and then magic. Hi, everyone who picked manifest. Let's do the message coming in for you. What does spirit have to say to you for what you've been manifesting? Connect with your loved ones, your angels, your spirit guides, and let's see what they have to say. You're about to have this come through. You're about to celebrate it. You have been working towards it and it's like it's finally coming in. Yes, you are so emotionally fulfilled. It's finally um, coming in. You are so happy. You feel like uh, high emotions. You have this. If this is a relationship you've manifested, um, if this is some type of a new home, uh, a new job, like you are so emotionally fulfilled and happy and grateful and you just feel like it is just the most amazing um, like outcome. You are so happy. Let's see. And with this coming out, I just, I feel like it was kind of hard for you in the past and it's coming into like this ease. You're having, um, you're, yeah, you're having this cause for celebration. You're coming in to this like, Finally, you got it. It's been overstressed. It's been overworked. Here it is. Wow, how beautiful. This is something so magical. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You guys um, who picked this manifestation, whatever you are manifesting, it's coming in and it emotionally fulfills you and if like and not more. Like this is amazing. It's just like you have this celebration and then um, it's just taken off whatever this is for you. So if this is a home relationship, if this is a new business, a job, um, hobby, if this is a new investment for you, whatever this is for you, it's like it, it kind of took a little while to come here with the manifestation. It's like you've worked towards it. You've really been thinking about it. You've really been asking for it. Um, here you are finally getting it. It's like a celebration. You're so emotionally fulfilled. Here's the celebration, the prosperity, the happiness, the like communication. The, it's like flowing. It's going. Here it is the manifestation times 10 that you didn't even believe how beautiful it could have been. Like you are just so happy with how beautiful it's coming out. And then we got the ace of swords or ace of wands, excuse me, which is just so amazing. And it's like, you are just feeling so grateful for this opportunity, um, for all your hard work. Yes. Here you are the queen of pentacles. You are feeling so happy. If this is around money, you are going to get it soon. Um, it's like, if you have been applying for this new job, uh, you're going in a completely new career. Yeah. It's time to let go of this, um, defeat. It's time to let go of this energy. You need to move out of that because it's, it's no longer needed. You no longer need that, um, energy in here. Let's pull some more tarot. Sorry if you hear my dogs. Let's pull some more tarot. But yeah, you. Um, it's time to leave this defeat energy. Um, it's time to walk away because you're about to have this major change. Look at the tower. I love the tower. Um, I, I absolutely love seeing the tower come out because it's like you're about to have this shocking, beautiful change. Yeah, um, you were stuck in this position for a long time. It's like you, the hanged man, you were stuck here. It's, it's about to leap. Um, you're about to end. And this one coming upside down, like you're, you're finally, um, I, I just feel like this is finally leaving. You're not here anymore. Yeah. Here you are. You're working towards, I feel like let's pull some cards specifically on this tower, but you are finally getting out of this energy of defeat, um, not being able to make it, or you're feeling like if this is financially, it's like you made it, um, like you'd always make it work. Like you'd make ends meet. Right. But it, it was a struggle. It's like the struggle is no longer leaving. Like you're no longer in the stagnant. You're no longer going to feel defeated. You're now going to feel like you've learned your lessons. You um, studied what, like, it's like you've learned, you've um, really studied what life was trying to teach you, right? You're holding on to those lessons and you want to take it 
you want to involve into this beautiful empowerment and you want to be financially stable and just so comfortable. So let's pull three clarifiers on this tower really fast and see what the tower has to say. Yeah, here you are. You're going to come into this energy of giving. You're going to be able to give and um, just I feel like you're going to be able to help everybody with the amount of income or the abundance that you have, whether this be um, financially, emotionally, physically, like if you get a hat, like whatever it is, um, it's like you are able to help people the way that you have been like asking for. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you got the magician twice. Something magical is coming in with this manifestation. Whatever you have been asking for, it's coming in times 10. It is coming in stronger than you had even thought it could. Um, it's coming in better. It's coming in. It, I just, that is beautiful with that coming through. So let's pull um, just one more um, tarot card. So we got this one fell out. I I just want this to come out right um, and give us a message on this. I feel like if you are going towards whatever it is that you've been asking um, this manifestation, don't get distracted because I feel like you're going to um, regret that. You're going to feel like, dang, I wish I would have done this. I wish I could have done this. I wish um, I it would have like stay on your path. Whatever this is, you're manifesting. If this is through um, if this is financially, don't get distracted. If this is emotionally love, if this is um, like you're searching for something, you're searching for a house, you're searching for a new car, you're searching. I feel like don't give up. Um, it, it's going to like come to you. It's going to be, it, I just feel like with this here, don't get distracted. Um, and then don't give up, keep going. If you, um, are really asking for something, it's like, it's going to be handed to you. Um, and it's going to help bring in this manifestation. But also if you're really working towards something, do not get distracted. Um, I feel like if you get distracted, it's like going to cause this, uh, to, yeah. And as I say, that play comes out. Don't get distracted. Um, if you're trying to do something financially, if you're trying to do something um, like what you're trying to move somewhere, you're trying to do something, it's like you know this about yourself too. If you take, um, and it's not to say don't give yourself a day because everybody deserves a day off from whatever they're working. Like if you're working, whatever, you deserve a day of like pamper, a day of relax, right? But it's like don't don't mess around when you don't need to like you know that about yourself and if you start slacking off it's like you're going to continue to slack and you know that and you need to make sure that that doesn't end up happening so let's pull um let's see this card so vehicles came out and i love that this came out because this is what do you want to be where do you want to be and with your manifestations and this car coming out, imagine that you are this amazing dream car. You are this amazing whatever you're asking for. If you're asking for this job, imagine you working there. Imagine your business taking off. Imagine all of this that you've been asking for. Um, just imagine that it's already here and it's already going for you. Um, you're already doing everything that you like for this, the vehicle coming out, it's like, Imagine yourself driving this car. Imagine yourself being in this car. Um, pretend that you already have it, right? Live life like that, um, whatever it is. Sleep. Think of sleep as a way to rest your energy and restore your body. Every day has a new energetic day. Ask yourself, if I slept like a baby and if I woke up refreshed. So with this coming in and the play and the regret, I think that this is um, Spirit's way of telling you, yes, it is okay to, um, like I said, it's okay to take your day, but you're, you go to sleep at night and you recharge your energy, make sure that you are getting this um, normal amount of hours. You're really meant to be working towards this manifestation right now. And you do not need to take these extra days um, when you know that you don't need to. Your sleep is resetting yourself. So make sure that you get your eight hours. If you need more than that, make sure that you're getting your hours so that way you're fully re energized you're re um ready for the day and you're 100 percent towards this manifestation will bring it in so much faster so i hope you all enjoyed the first message hi everybody who chose love let's see what spirit your loved ones your um spirit guides what everybody has to say to you about love we'll talk about in connection we'll talk about out of connection um so really Feel whatever you are asking about love for you, and we are going to pull some cards. Okay, so the first card, sorry, let me just set this back up, that we have is 
if you are single right now, it's like you have, pre you're preparing um, to get somewhere. You're preparing. Oh my goodness. How beautiful. You're preparing for this. You're preparing to get into a new relationship. It's like you're finally opening yourself up to this. Um, you've really been doing work. I feel like you kind of knew about yourself and look at this gold, gold, gold. Um, that is, wow. I love that because that is the solar plexus uh, chakra and that's, that's the I can energy, like with the gold and the yellow. So I'm just, that's really pretty. Um, so for the love, I just think that it's like, you've been in this energy and it's, um, it's so beautiful. It's like, you have been in this energy of getting ready. You've learned your lessons. You've known that you were single for these reasons. It's like, you finally, uh, learned like, oh yeah, I was single because of this. Like I was single because of that. Um, I, I didn't want a relationship. Like I needed to grow, um, in this way, this, or this way, whatever way it was that you needed to grow. Um, it's like you, you've learned, you've grown, you're ready for this love. And it's like, it's coming in, it's coming in it, and it's coming in strong, happy love. Like it, it just makes me feel so happy. Like I have a smile on my face, just as big as uh, he does. So let's see what else spirit and your loved ones have to say. Wow. Commitment really fast before I um, will pull these two cards. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. You got the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles. Okay, and we also got this card as well. So look, before we go any further, before um, this, if we are talking about in a current relationship, it's like you guys both have been in a spot where it's like you guys want to be together, um, but you guys have been learning. Uh, you have been, it's like one day one will be good, one the other day will be good. And it's like you guys are both um, in this journey of learning. You guys have really prepared to be um together you guys want to be together it's like you are trying to find solutions the both of you are trying to find these solutions and you guys do because you guys both want to be together you guys are ready for this commitment um you both want this commitment you both want this partnership you both love it it both makes you so emo emotionally fulfilled and you guys are determined to make it work um and it's gonna it's going to work out for the two of you this is nothing but love if you are in a current relationship this is literally nothing but love emotional fulfillment emotional happiness um long-term growth if you and your partner want to start a business if you and your partner want to start um something financially together it like go into buying a home it is such a good idea um with ace of pentacles like you guys have this abundance coming towards you um and that and it's like you guys have prepared for this next step if you are um, single and you are looking for a new relationship, it's like you're ready for this commitment. You have learned. Um, you are feeling this, um, like you want this emotional fulfillment. You are determined to find it. You're ready for it again. It's like for the longest time, you weren't ready. You were, you didn't want it. Um, I could see the energy shift here. It's like you, yeah, oh my goodness. This card just came out. You, you did not want it for a while, but it's like, you are ready for this energy shift. You are ready for this emotional fulfillment. You are ready to feel this like love, this happiness again. And if you are in a current relationship, there is so much love around the two of you. And if you ever question it, um, if you're ever feeling like, am I supposed to be with this person? Am I, uh, like, is this where I'm supposed to be? It's like, you kind of feel like, it's like intuition tells you yes, right? It's like intuition tells you that you will you belong here. You love this person. Um, this is your happiness. But then like, sometimes it's like, whatever you guys do, you guys are fighting or, um, it's like, you guys will be doing really good. And then it goes rocky. It's like a back and forth, right? Like the boat, the boat rocks sometimes. And it's like, no, you guys need to learn, um, some things about each other, but this is where you guys belong. Both of you, both of you belong together. Not like you guys are both so happy and you guys are soulmates. Um, you guys have so much, like it's like you guys have so much abundance together like it, it, whether this is emotionally mentally uh if you guys financially like you guys are so happy um and fulfilled in every way and emotionally especially with the two aces of cups coming out like you guys love each other so much and i love that the two aces of cups came out so it's it's really showing both sides um and if this is a, another like you were going into a relationship this is really showing you like they they really love you just as much as you do. It's like they're determined to date you just as much as you are determined to date them. Let's pull some more tarot because I love um, how beautiful the energy is right here. Oh, my goodness. We have another ace. So one, if you guys if this is a current relationship, um, you guys might um, 
you guys might have a new beginning coming, like a, a new baby, a new home, a new something. It's something, it's something new. Um, and it sparks this, like, it's like you guys had this love, but it sparks something new in between you guys. Um, and it's, it, it just lights that fire more. If this is a new relationship, um, this is a very happy relationship. You guys, um, can't keep your hands off of each other type of relationship. Like you guys are very, um, like physically very um happy with both of you like both of you guys are physically very happy um and you guys cannot keep your hands off of each other it's like this new beginning for the both of you you're like ready for it so let's see what else spirit has to say yes it's like you are ready you're ready for this you're ready for your dream to come in oh my goodness and the lovers came out okay so if, if you are in a current relationship, this is so beautiful. Um, it's like you have this new beginning coming out. Um, you're ready for your dream to come in. And so is your lover. If you guys have been going through a rocky spot, um, I feel like this, it, it could have been like, maybe you guys had a rocky month. Um, you guys have had like a rocky couple days, whatever it was for you guys. It's like you, you had this rocky moment, right? But it's going to get better. It, there's something new coming in. And it's like you guys are building something together. You guys are soulmates. You guys are meant to be together. Um, and it's the choice between both of you to stay together. Like both of you guys have this um, love. Like you guys have so much emotional um, love for each other because we have like the the queen of cups, the ace of cups, the ace of cups, the, and then the lovers, um, and then the love, like the, uh, connection commitment. You guys have so much love between the two of you, um, whether in connection or out of connection. Um, if this is a past love, if this is whatever this is for you, there is so much love in this situation, like between the two of you. Um, if it, this is new, old, um, like you haven't met this person yet, like when you meet this person, the love that you feel inside of you is the same love that they feel for you. And it's like, maybe if they don't um, show it a thousand percent, like they hide their emotions a little bit more, just know that it's like there and they have worked really hard to get to this spot. Like they feel like they won the jackpot with you. And I feel like vice versa, you, you just can't. And it's like with the ace of wands coming out, you guys cannot keep your hands off of each other. You guys are both very invested um, in each other in that way. It's like, and you're so happy. Um, let's pull. And it's crazy. We have yeses on all cards. So just know if you are looking to go into a new relationship, it's a yes. And if you ever wonder if like you should be with your partner, it's a yes. And if you were thinking of a question um, while I'm doing this reading, just know that it's a yes. Like if it's a positive love question, it, like you just have yeses across the board. So let's pull. Um, another card yes i this card goes back to the beginning i think that um from the, what i said from the beginning there was some healing um i feel like you guys could have gone like rocky um if you guys are in a relationship and you're asking like some questions this person loves you and it's like on both sides there was needing to be healing there was there's needing to be growth but it's like both of you guys are determined to grow together you guys both want to be together you guys have this like emotional love for each other that you neither of you have felt for anybody else um and if this is a new connection you have done the healing you have done um everything that you needed to do from the past oh my goodness and then we have sex right here yeah you guys are so emotionally like in love with each other it's beautiful like you don't ever have to worry about how this person's feeling about you um you don't ever have to question any of it like know that they love you whether you're in connection with them currently or you're not like they love you and they imagine you all the time it's like if you guys um when you guys are intimate it's like they'll daydream about it the next day um it, it's really like a beautiful in that sense and then also um the healing as well for the healing before I go on to, I'm going to pick up the card I dropped, but, um, this healing is you have both like healed. Um, and it's like, if this is you going into this new relationship, um, it's like, you finally have healed. You finally got where you wanted to be. And that's why you're open to this beautiful, um, love again, channeling, channel your inner, inner child, skip, gallop, jump, and hum, blow bubbles, draw with crayons, giggle for no reason, but no whining. 
How pretty is that? I love that this came out with the love because channel your inner child. I feel like maybe the younger you was easier to just jump into things. Um, maybe the younger you was more willing to be a little bit more outgoing um, when it came to relationships. And this is spirit like saying, just open up that door. Really just try to open up that door. Be that younger child again. Believe that you deserve this beautiful love because you definitely do. You believe you deserve um, everything that's coming to you when it comes to this love. It's it's so beautiful. It makes you so emotionally fulfilled. So I hope you all enjoyed your message. Hi, everybody who chose magic. Let's pull some cards from your angels, your spirit guides, your passed on loved ones um, to see what is coming in for you. And this is magic that is unexpected. So what is coming in? Um, what magic do we not know about? You are going to be super excited um, when this comes in. It's going to really motivate you into something. Yeah, you're going to take action in this. Let's see. I feel like this might um, be some extra money coming in. Um, this might be like a helpful hand um, when you need it. Like if you uh, are going to need to rely on somebody to help you out to do something like care for an animal, a child, um, a house. Uh, you need someone to help you move. You need whatever it is. It's like somebody comes in, somebody steps up. If you um, are, are like kind of struggling a little bit financially, it's like you come into this little bit of extra money that you had no idea about. Um, if you are feeling like really low, it's kind of like the angels send somebody in to help you feel like this, this, like flick again, this flick of energy, and it's like it, it comes in and it motivates you. Yeah, I feel like um, with this magic coming in, it gives you some goals. Like it's one of your goals are met, and it's like you didn't even mean. Yeah, you have this celebration. Um, there's something that's being met for you that you didn't even. Yeah, it's something that's been challenging for you. Your goal, um, whatever your goal is that you have had set for yourself, um, it's a oh, look. Here's the hermit. Yeah, it's something that you've had set for yourself um, with the res um, resistance and the challenge coming out. It's like you have had this resistance towards something. You've um, felt kind of like I, I'm just like. It's been like disconnection from something. There's something, that, whether this be a person, a relationship, financially, a job, um, help, whatever this is for you. It's like you've been really resistant. It's been a really big challenge for you. It's like, why can't I figure this out? Like, why is this not working for me? Why is this like, it's just been a constant struggle. And you're just like, spirit, why? Like, why does this keep happening? And you're like going within, you're really trying to figure it out. And it's like this mad... It, your spirit guides, your angels, your loved ones, they're like handing it to you. Um, it's like, it's just coming in for you. And it like with that, that brings us like motivation back because you have this like abundance coming in and gives you your goals back. It helps you celebrate to remind you like why you want to get to your goals. Yeah. You're putting an ending to this energy. Yeah. Here you are in celebration again. I love that those cards. Yes. And it is moving so fast. You do not need to worry um, about whatever it is that you are struggling with, um, whatever the situation is, if you're asking for a new home, if you're asking, um, like, how am I going to figure this out? Like my lease is up and I need to move into this place like soon. And I haven't looked for anywhere. Like there's no leases. I don't have enough for this deposit. Like, it's like, don't worry. It's going to happen. It's going to, somebody's going to come in and they're going to help you. They're going to, um, fix your problems. Let's pull and if if not that it's like you maybe you randomly get like offered this like new job that you didn't think that they were going to offer you um it's like something's coming in and it's kind of like you didn't really expect it but it it helps motivate you because it's bringing in this abundance like which causes your celebration it puts your goals back into perspective for you and you're putting an ending to this negative energy yeah here's this fear and this anxiety we're putting that in the past. We no longer need this. Um, it's it's negativity. Yeah, you're in charge now. You're in charge. You're taking lead. Yep, you've had the patience. You've really been working towards something. Um, this magic is bringing in something that you've been really working towards. Oh, my goodness. And we have the hermit again. So there is something that you have been soul searching for. So this is like something that you have been asking for for a while to change, whether this be a living situation 
um, this be a relationship with a friend, a family member, there is something that you have been begging to change. Like, and you have done work, like why can't this change? Like, what have I done? Am I, am I not doing it right? Am I not like deserving of this? Is it, what is causing me to have this blockage? Like you have done so much work on this and it's time for you to um it is time for this energy to be put to an end it's like it, this new beautiful energy is coming to an end and it's coming in fast and your anxiety your fears um your like your stress levels like that's all going away you you're finally um coming into it again i dropped a card so i'm going to grab that in a second but let's pull yeah here you are you're having this um happiness this happy ending you're having this money again. You're having um, this happiness again. Whatever it is that you've been asking for. Yeah, here it is right here. And if you have been feeling, um, there is just a lot of male energy um, on the board right now. So if you are kind of like feeling a little bit like down about yourself and you're kind of just feeling like insecure, you're feeling like you, you don't got it, you're not like pretty you're kind of feeling like down about yourself you're you know what it, you know what I mean like I have um and what's crazy is I feel like with this retrograde I have been feeling a little down about myself um recently but it's like um it, it don't because you have so much like male attention maybe um too for you if this is like you have been having like a lot of insecurities like the magic for you is like you're gonna finally figure it out again. You're going to remember that it's all within you. You have this abundance. You are this beautiful creation. You got it going on. And that's going to bring a lot of male attention to you. I think you're going to realize um, whatever it was that broke you down. It's like, it doesn't matter. They only broke you down. Um, yeah. You're coming to the truth. If that is the case, you are only, um, it's like you figure everything out and it's like, they only broke you down because they wanted to, um, they didn't want you to shine as bright as you could, because when you're going to, when you brought it, shine your light, bright, Like it's going to be bright and they didn't want you to be that bright. And you're going to realize that. And there's like a lot of male attention around you. Um, and whether this, and the, like I said, that could be general, but also too, it's like, you could have a lot of, uh, like, I see a lot of pentacles, um, as well. So you could have a lot of money, like unexpected money coming in. Like there's somebody, um, coming in to help you with money. Um, maybe you're trying to get a house and it's like, you don't think that you have enough and you literally do have just enough. Um, and communication, we got communication as well. So with that coming out, um, I feel like your loved ones, your spirit guides, um, they're really going to lead you in the direction that you need to go. So if you are, um, if you're ever wondering about like a situation, um, if you're wondering like with this magic coming in, I feel like they might communicate with you. They might put you in a situation. They might try to get you to go somewhere. They might try to um, like motivate you. You might try to call off of work one day and they're like, no, don't call off of work. Um, maybe somebody like text you or something like that. And they're like, um, you're like, Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go do that. Right. And they're like, no, um, go do that. Go like your spirit guides are like forcing you, um, to go do that. So we also got food as well. So let's see what this says. It says what you, what you eat affects your vibration today. Pay attention to everything that you are eating, eat more fruits and veggies, good, healthy, more earth, more from the earth nutrition receive high vibrations from mother earth feel high vibrations from mother earth and give thanks i love that if you are somebody um who and you know i i take fault in this too um and i was you know it's crazy i was actually just talking about this today um i i take fault in this too sometimes like i will just kind of like eat some chips i will eat this and you know what's crazy is because i was just i was just talking about this message of insecurities and this that and the other and wow what's on the floor right here is games um if you are feeling insecure you're feeling down about yourself you're gonna find this magic again and i love that the food um came out and uh i have a couple messages so let's just get through them before i jump all over the place um with this, like the food coming out, I was just talking um, to my aunt today and I was just telling her about how amazing the fruits and the vegetables are from my garden versus from the store. Like the strawberries from my garden are the sweetest, best strawberries I've ever had. Like they're hands down amazing. The tomatoes are amazing. And I do not like tomatoes. I am not a tomato person. The tomatoes came out so, so good. 
And then we also have raspberries, we have basil, we have mint, we have like all this stuff and it has all come out so amazing. Um, and we have a couple other um, fruit bushes that didn't blossom this year, but they will next year. So I just, um, it's amazing how different like the food is. And for me, um, I have been feeling, like I said, a little insecure, but I also have been snacking a little bit more as well. And what I've noticed is I am putting, you know, um, like potato chips, I'm putting candy, like whatever it is, uh, fast foods, like if I'm eating that, I notice like vibrationally, like I start feeling low, I start feeling bad about myself, I start, it's like I play games in my head. Um, and for you, I feel like that same thing goes for you. It's like, you will be in this high vibration. And then like, you kind of, start feeling down so you start my, like snacking or whatever and like that food really like plays a part in like how you're feeling vibrationally um so really put in um healthy happy foods and when you are eating your meal be grateful for this say that you are so grateful um for whatever it is on your plate thank you for the farmers who harvest it thank you for um if, you, if it is meat thank you for the animal who um has provided this for you thank you for um whatever it is Thank you for every person that has touched it to get it on your plate. Thank you for every single person who has put time. Um, thank you for the earth. Thank you for the water. Like everything that has gone in to making your plate feel so much love and happiness for that and put that into your food. So that way you can eat that and feel so emotionally fulfilled and happy because you are this beautiful being and you deserve to feel that way. And this also goes for like job. Um, I feel like for you, sometimes you go back and forth like, oh, I can do it. I can't do it or whatever it is like you go back and forth. Once you start, I feel like doing the vibrational, um, putting yourself in this higher vibration, whether it's food, telling your food to, that you are grateful um, overall, like high vibrational, you will start having these um, things come to you. You will um, be able to see the truth about things without like having like to examine it. it it'll just come in for you so i hope everybody really enjoyed this message